Hi, my name is Thomas from TB Pro Audio. In this video, I show you the key features of Final Loud and how to use it. Final Loud is a plugin that can be used in digital audio workstations such as Cubase, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, Reaper, Ableton, or Studio One. The plugin is available in different formats for Windows and Mac. For more information, please visit our website. Final Loud elegantly solves a common challenge in audio engineering. Setting a defined loudness level for any audio material while maintaining a given true peak ceiling. Therefore, Final Loud combines an amplifier, a high quality true peak limiter and an accurate loudness measurement systems under one easy to use interface. The amplifier pushes the loudness to the target level and in parallel the limiter ensures the true peak ceiling. What features does Final Loud offer? Final Loud comes with a lot of presets that can be used immediately. These settings can be recalled in the preset menu. There you can also save your own settings. Below are the settings for the measurement methods. Like EBU IL, EBU SL Max, RMS IL and RMS SL Max. The target value for the loudness the current value of the gain and the true peak ceiling. There are also buttons for processing mono material, control of the format of the meter values and the possibility for door synchronization. The main display shows the current loudness value and the true peak value. Underneath additional loudness values are displayed depending on the measurement method. On the right side, there are buttons to reset the meters and the current gain. Above is the button match target. When pressed, Final Loud calculates the difference gain from the target value and the current loudness value. For example, if the loudness target is minus 14 LUFs and the current measurement has a value of minus 18 LUFs, then Final Loud will calculate a gain of plus 4 LU. Under the button Match Target, there's a switch for the match modes. The mode determines whether the current gain is included in the calculation of the gain difference, relative, or not, absolute. Normally, the mode relative is used, but as soon as inline render is used, the source material is changed immediately, then you switch on the absolute mode. How can the plugin now be used very quickly? For example, suppose you want to easily customize your audio file to meet the needs of Amazon Alexa. As a reminder, Amazon Alexa requires minus 14 LUFs and minus 2 dB true peak. Start your DAW or audio editor, import the audio file and load final loud. There are no other plugins needed for processing. Now choose the preset Amazon Alexa. Make sure that the sync button is on. Place the play cursor on the beginning of the audio file and let it go through completely. Then hit the match target button. Final Loud has now calculated the gain so that the target value for the loudness is mathematically reached on the next pass. As you can see, we did not reach the target loudness completely. This was not quite possible with a given source material. So we repeat the process match target and play audio until the loudness value equals the target value.
Okay, here we are. Why cannot Final Loud calculate the correct gain on some audio material the first time? This is related to the true peak limiter. If Final Loud would work without the true peak limiter, the target could be reached the first time. However, it may happen then that the true peak value is above the limit. The true peak limiter pushes the signal and thus the true peak value towards the TP ceiling, while loudness can be lost. This can be compensated by repeating the process several times. Can you accelerate the process now? Yes, you can. Many DAWs and audio editors offer the function offline render or inline render. Both functions have the property that the audio signal is processed at maximum speed. It should be noted that offline render does not change the source material. Inline render does. Audacity or WaveLab offer inline rendering for acceleration. Final Loud works well with both functions. For offline render the match mode relative is suitable, for inline render the mode absolute. What are the differences of the modes? Now let's take a look. In the previous example we worked with the mode relative. The current setting for the gain is taken into account during the recalculation. Now we want to use the inline render feature of Audacity. For this we reset the plugin and set the mode to absolute. By repeatedly pressing the match target and apply buttons, we achieved our goal with a fraction of the time. Finally, we check the result with DP meter 2. Please note that the general configuration setting is 1.0, as this is a monofile. I'm now at the end of my video. I hope you understood the features of Final Loud. For any further questions, we are available. I wish you much success with Final Loud. And visit us again at tbsoftware.com. Thanks.